In this lecture, we're going to look at the following problem. We start with a rectangle of a um, 10 centimeter in width and 15 centimeter in length. And we cut a few of those small rectangles, make a kind of a, a staircase, not really a regular staircase, but it's kind of a weird staircase. Um, and we want to calculate the perimeter of this staircase shape. So how we do that? Now, clearly here, we don't even know what's this height. For example, what's this height, what's this um, length, and what's this height, what's this length, and what's this height, so on and so forth. It seems like it's going to be a difficult problem to do. Can we really solve this? Are some of the conditional problem are missing? These are the, I guess, first question coming to my mind. So now, to solve this kind of question, it's always very useful to think about a simple case, really trying to understand the problem. So in here, we have many steps of this staircase, right? Can we think about how to simplify? Well, one way to simplify is just thinking about there's only one staircase, one step. So let's think about this following graph. This 10 centimeter height and 15 centimeter in length. And we cut out a rectangle. What's the perimeter of this shape. Again, we don't know what's this, the size of the little small rectangle we cut out. We don't know what's this size. It turns out we actually can do this. Let's see. We have two solutions. The first solution, solution one, let's introduce a few variables, a couple variables. Let's assume this length of the rectangle cutout has length x and width y centimeter. Okay, if this is x, this is y. First, let's calculate what is this. Now you know that this x plus this is going to be equal to 10. So this part is going to be 10 minus x centimeter. And by the same reason, because this is y, this part plus this equals 15. So we know this equals 15 minus y. Now with all these, we can calculate the perimeter of this shape, which equals 10 plus 15, this plus this, and then plus this, actually plus this first, which is 10 minus x, and then plus y, plus this x, plus the last piece is 15 minus y. Okay, and this equals 10 plus 15, plus, if you change the order of summation, you see something 10 minus x plus x equals 10, and y plus 15 minus y equals 15. So this equals uh, 25 plus 25 equals 50 centimeter. This is solution number one. Now, let's look at another solution. And for this solution, it's going to be more instructive and can be generalized into a technique um, which can be used to solve the original problem. Let's see. We want to calculate the perimeter. The perimeter is going to equal this, plus this, plus this, plus this, plus this, and plus this. Let's focus on the part that x plus y, okay? x plus y, let's assume this, there's no x and no, there's no y, okay? Let's remove this thing. Let's leave not even using this. So we have not using the technique that used in the, uh, the first approach. Let's remove this. The whole perimeter equal this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this, right? 
Let's focus on these two. If you consider this rectangle, this plus this is going to be the same as this plus this. Agree? This thing is the same as this thing. So when I calculate the perimeter of this, adding this part, it's the same as I'm calculating the perimeter of up to here, but swap these things. This goes to this. This one goes to up. Okay? Now the whole thing becomes the perimeter of this original rectangle. So the whole perimeter just equals the perimeter of the rectangle, which of course is 10 plus 15 times 2 equals 50. Okay, let's do a little bit of review of what we did. We said that if we want to calculate 15, okay? If we want to calculate the perimeter of this shape, we actually can move this one to here. And we remove it, cut it, and become here. And remove this one, move this one to here. So then you see, if I remove these two and added this two, which of course is the same length, you become the original rectangle. That's the technique we used. And this technique, I put the name there. Let's call it a kind of a reflection. So here, I go there, here, there, there. It's like kind of a reflection. I call it reflection technique. And this reflection technique, it only uses the fact that for a rectangle, this length, if you're adding the two sides, the one width and the one length, is the same as you adding the other two. Okay, a different way of saying it is, if you want to travel from the corner um, of a rectangle to the other corner, the diagonal corner, it does not really matter you go this way or you go that way. The length of going this way equals the length of going that way. And we're using this technique, and this is called, let's call it a reflection technique. And turns out this reflection technique can be used to solve the original problem. But before that, let's do another kind of generalization of this technique into a slightly more complicated problem. Instead of one step, let's do two steps. Okay, again, it's not drawn up to scale. This is 10 centimeter, this is 15 centimeter. And all, everything here is a um, horizontal and vertical line. So you can think about I'm cutting like straight. Okay, what's the perimeter of this shape? Now, we're going to be using the reflection principle twice. First, we say this length to calculate the perimeter of this shape, we need to calculate the sum of this plus 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 this. Now we're going to focus on the part of this sum of this plus this first. By using the reflection principle, the reflection technique, we can say, ah, adding this, adding this is the same as I'm adding this line and adding this line. Okay, we're moving this line over. And this line over to there. So now I'm forgetting about this, okay? So become the same perimeter of this shape. Now, of course, this shape is the same shape as the shape of this type, right? So again, we're going to apply the reflection technique, moving this one over and moving this one over, become this shape. And we know that the perimeter of this equals the perimeter of the original rectangle equal 50 centimeter. Aha, so we know that for a staircase of two steps, the perimeter still equals to the original rectangle. Now, let's tackle the original problem. Here, we're going to apply the reflection technique. 
apply the reflection technique multiple times. How many times? Depends on the number of steps. If there are one, two, three, four steps, I'm going to apply this four times. So the first time for this uh, two sides of this rectangle, I'm going to move this one using the reflection technique. I'm going to move this one over to become this and move this one up to become this. So this original shape of staircase perimeter is the same as this shape now. Forget about these two lines, become this shape. And now we're going to apply the reflection technique for this thing. You got the idea, right? Move this one over and this over. So this is gone. And again, the third time, we're going to move this line to here and this line up. So it's the same perimeter as this shape. Finally, we're going to apply this to over here, reflection to this, and this line to up, and we remove this line. So the perimeter of the original shape is the same perimeter of this rectangle, and that perimeter equals the original perimeter of the rectangle, which is 2 times 10 plus 15 equals 50 centimeters. So here we got this very surprising result. If you have a, sh a staircase cutting from a rectangle, actually does not matter how many steps you have. Let's say you have 1,000 steps, okay, and all these weird shapes just keep going. This perimeter of this really weird shape, 15 centimeter, 10 centimeter, or in general, A plus A and B, right? The length A units and B units. The perimeter of this weird shape with many, 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 many steps, let's say 1,000 steps or 1 million steps, does not really matter. The perimeter of this shape is going to be 2 times A plus B. The original perimeter of the, uh, the original rectangle units. Hope you enjoyed this lesson.